Hey everyone, we're excited to share our hackathon project with you, an AI-powered note-taker web app called Noted. We all know the struggle of keeping up with long lecture recordings or missing important meetings, so we wanted to create a tool that makes note-taking easier and more efficient. The goal of this project was to create a tool that saves people time and helps them stay on top of their work, whether they're students trying to keep up with lectures or professionals that need to document meetings. We believe AI has the power to revolutionize the way we learn and work, and our project is an example of that. This is how it works. When you go to the Notion homepage, the first thing you do is that you log in with your Notion account. I'll come here, and then I'm going to allow access to the databases, and then I'm going to choose a database. I'm going to choose this one, this one. Once I'm here, I can then upload a file. I shall choose this one here. And now that it's been uploaded, I have an option between the kind of notes that I want to take. I can either have it be elaborate or concise. Let's say I want concise notes. Our app leverages Gemini 1.5's ability to understand the content and format it intelligently. It identifies key topics, creates headings and bullet points, and even formats the equations in LaTeX, so you end up with organized and easy to read notes. This is done through carefully curated prompts that are fed in during the API called a Gemini. We also know how important it is to have a smooth workflow, so we made sure that you can export your notes directly to Notion while keeping all the formatting intact. I'll just click here. And when it opens, when it opens, you'll see that I now have a list of the notes that I asked Gemini to create. This is what goes on under the hood. The front end is made using React.js. We then use OAuth to get secure access to the user's credentials when they sign into Notion on the web app. We use Supabase as an open source Firebase alternative to add a user management system so we can create the Notion page for the user on their account. Then in order to actually create the Notion page, we call the Notion API and give it the output that Gemini produces. I'll get into more details on how the, the Gem, uh, Gemini actually outputs a bit later. Moving on to the back end now, we use a Flask server that runs on Gunicorn, which listens to any request, and we use Nginx as an HTTP proxy to redirect incoming requests to the right place. The whole web app is deployed on AWS EC2. The back end has a couple of different routes, one that uses FFM PEG, to split audio and video, another that serves as a file uploader, and correspondingly, another serves as a file downloader, one that searches for Notion databases and their names to display on the front end, and one that, most importantly, the predict function that calls the Gemini API with the audio file. The Notion API needs the input to be in JSON to directly write to the Notion page, so we've engineered the prompt to format the output in a specific way so that we can take Gemini's output and easily convert it to the necessary JSON format. Noted is all about simplicity and elegance. We envision it being a tool that people can use anywhere. As such, our future plans will be to integrate Noted with other note-taking applications in the future, such as Google Docs or OneNote.